Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to edit mobile menu in WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, so to edit the mobile menu in the WordPress, uh, we have the couple of different ways of doing it. I will actually show you the two different methods that we can actually use to edit our mobile menu in the WordPress. So in the first one, if you're using the default theme of the WordPress, so for that I'm going to go into the themes just to show you which theme I'm using here. So basically this theme is a kind of a default theme for the WordPress and if you want to customize your mobile menu, you're going to simply click on the customize here and here you will be able to see your menu here that you have created. Okay, so I'm going to simply click on this one and let's just click on our menu here and let's just click here on the view here. Since we only want to talk about the mobile menu, so we're going to go into the mobile menu here and here you can see here we are having the heading here. And we are having our hamburger for our navigation menu. Alright, so if I just click on this, you can see here we are having this advanced options in which you are having the title, area and the HTML element. And if I just click on the page here, that does not have anything into it. So if I just click on the edit here. So here you can see this, we are having our title here. And we are also having this hamburger for our menu. We are only having these two different things. Okay. So in the hamburger, you can see we are having these multiple options. All right. So here, if you want to add any uh, element into this, you can do this from here. But if I just click on the setting here, you can see this. We are having this layout and we are having this display here. All right. And you can actually change this uh, icon from here from the two lines to the three lines. We are having this overlay menu here. OK, so here it will be only for the mobile. And after that, you don't see a lot of the options here. And even if I go inside the style here, you can see this. We are actually having this text and then the background. And after this, we have this sub menu and overlay text and the sub menu overlay background. So if you want to change any of these color, you can do this from here. And also you have the typography and the dimension. And other than that, you don't actually see the option to edit your mobile menu. OK, so if I just click on here, You'll be able to see that we are having these different options of a group, a scale, grid, column, and the cover into our uh, mobile menu. And if you want to change the position of it, let's say going to the left and going to the right, you can do this. But other than that, let's see, we don't see a lot of the customizations option here. So this is the first method which does not provide a lot of the customizations here or does not provide you a lot of the different options in editing the mobile menu. But let's say if you want to have if you want to have more customization here. So for the more customization, you would actually need to go back to your WordPress dashboard and we don't want to save anything here. You can actually go here into the themes and you can actually install the Astro theme. So I have already installed this. So I'm going to simply activate this and now I'm going to simply go inside the customize again or I can also click here. So let's click on the customize. So this is the template that I'm using in the Astro theme. OK, so you don't have to worry about this. I'm going to show you how to use the templates in the Astro theme if you want to. But that's not the point here. The point is that how much customization or how much editing that you can do in your header section or the mobile menu. OK, so whenever you have the Astro theme and click on the customizer, you will be able to see these options here. So only the option that we are going to use today is the header builder. So in the header builder, you can see here we are having these different options. So you have the site title and the logo, which we have here. And after that, you are having a primary menu here. And after that, you are having a button here. But the focus of our video is to customize or edit the mobile menu. So we're going to simply jump into the mobile menu here. And on the mobile menu, you can see this we are having this hamburger and we are having this uh, logo here. So if you wanted to add more options here, so let's say if you wanted to add uh, a button here or something. So for that, what you can do, you're going to simply click on the button here. And now you'll be able to see the button. Obviously, you will need to optimize this for the mobile screen, but you can have the elements here. Uh, similarly, if I remove this and if I just click on this again, you can actually add any HTML code here if you want to. You can add the secondary menu if you have any secondary menu and you can also add these other widgets here. So if I just click on the social here, you will be able to see we are adding the social icons. Obviously, we have to change the color of it. So we're going to go inside the design of the social icons and we're going to change the color of it. So I think I'm going to go here with the white color that is looking good. 
and now you can see this we are having the social icons here and also we are having the design option or the customization option of our social icons here so if you wanted to change the background color you can also do this if you want to change the label color you can also do this from here and if you click on the official here it will come up with the official colors that we have on those icons okay so i'm going to go here with the custom values and then we have the icon sizes we have the spacing so you have these different options which you can explore so right now i'm going to delete this again and i will click here again let's just click on the widget here all right so in the widget so if i just click here on the widget i'm going to go into here let's just click on the widget here and in here you can actually add any block here okay you can see this we are having this paragraph we are having this heading and we can have the image here so let's say if, if i want to go here with the image i'm going to simply click on the media library here and probably let's just go here with this image click on the select and now you will be able to see this image here and one more thing you can also change the position of these widgets here so let's say if i wanted to put the widget on to the first column i can also do this and uh, if i wanted to put my site title and the logo in between in the middle column i can also do this with these values here and even though you have these extra two layers you can also use these layers as well if you wanted to so if i just click here and let's say i want you to add the heading here so i'm going to simply click on the widget to here and i would actually click on the widget to here and click on the add block let's just add the heading here all right so let's just write down hello world here okay so if i wanted to change the color of it i can simply click here on the design and you can see here i can change the heading here you also have the second layer here into the mobile menu so if you want to use this area you can also use this and similarly if you want to use the third layer here you can simply drag and drop the widget and now you will be able to see the option here we are having this hello world obviously this is not looking good but you can also play around with this value here so the first thing that we are having the widget here we're going to simply remove this because i don't need this and i would actually go into the site title and the logo here again that is looking fine okay so here if i wanted to edit the logo here i can also change the logo from here all right so if i wanted to have the different logo for the mobile screen i can also change this from here and after that we have the site title and after that we have the site title visibility so if you want you to have the site title on your mobile screen you can also just enable this from here and if you want to enable this on the desktop on the template version you just have to click on this icon here according to the screen sizes so if i go into the design we also have the design options here into the logo color title color and the tagline and you also have this spacing values here so this is how you can actually customize your logo and after this you have the toggle button here so in the toggle button you can see here we are having these three different icons here so if you wanted to go here with the first one you can have this if you wanted to go here with the second one you can also do this and if you wanted to go here with the third one you can also do this okay and here you also have the toggle button style that will be either fill outline or you also have the minimal so whatever you choose so i think i'm going to go here with the fill and after this you have the design so in the design you can see this we are having the icon color at the background color so you can also adjust these colors here so if i wanted to change the background color here i can change the background color from here okay you can see here but we're going to go here with the default color and we also have this icon size here so if you want to change this you can also do this from here but let's just go here with the default value which is looking fine and then you have the border radius so if you want to change the border radius value you can also do this from here you can see here is i'm adding the zero values in the border radius on all of the sides now you can see this we are having the square here but we can go here with the default value okay so let's just change this after this we have the phone size and then we have the spacing again all right so now what we can do here so let's click here and if i just click on here you will be able to see these options here okay so if i just click on this one you can see here on the primary menu we are having the menu configuration here so if you want to configure the new menu from here if you have created a new menu you can simply go inside the configure menu from here and here you will be able to see the option of the primary menu secondary and the off canvas so right now we're going to go here with the primary menu so here if you have created multiple menus you will be able to see all of those options here but since we only have the single one that is why it is only showing us this single option so if you want to edit this you can simply click on the edit menu here 
and here you will be able to see that we are having our main menu here we are having the about we are having the services we are having the contact so you can also reorder them if you wanted to so let's say if you wanted to put about after the services you can do this if you wanted to do same thing for the contact you can also do this so if i just click on our icon here you can see this now we have the services before the about okay and even you can add the new item if you want to okay so if i wanted to add the new item i will just simply click here on the add items here and here i can choose a new menu item from my post and from my text from my categories and the format and also from the pages but let's say if you don't have anything here so let's just say we're gonna go here with the sample let's just add this here and this menu item will be added but if you wanted to go here with something custom here so for the custom obviously the first thing you will need to add is a url link here and after this here you're going to write down the name of your link text so if i just write down privacy policy here and click on add to menu this will also be added okay so if i just click here you can see this we are having the sample page so if i just change the order here let's just put it like this all right so let's click on our menu here now you can see this we are having the privacy policy here as well okay and we also have the sample page so this is how you can edit your menu as well from here directly okay now we're gonna go back here and let's just go back again let's just go inside the header builder and yeah this is how it's gonna work and even we have one more thing here that if you wanted to have the transparent header right now you can see here we're actually having the transparent header so how can we have this you're gonna have the option of customize the transparent header so you would simply click on this one and now you'll be able to see all of these different options or the pages where you want to enable the transparent header okay so here you can simply disable this on the complete website okay so obviously right now we are on our main page that is why you are able to see this but on the new pages you won't be able to see the transparent header okay and after this you also have this design element here so right now i'm going to simply enable this so one option that you can see here that we are having a different transparent logo so on the transparent header you can have the different logo here as well okay so if i wanted to change the image here i can simply do this from here so let's go here with this one just for the sake of example or maybe this one let's click on choose image and now you'll be able to see this logo here obviously the white logo was looking good because of the color contrast i'm going to go here with the white logo here again but you got the idea here this is how you can change just for the transparent error okay similarly you can also have the different logo for the retina devices you can also change the width of the logo here and in the design you can see here we're also having this bottom border radius so if you wanted to add some border radius here you can also do this but you can also change the color here so let's just go here with a kind of a white color and we're gonna actually change the value here to the 1px that is looking good and similarly we are having the background overlay okay so you can see this we are having the three options here we have the above header we are having the primary header and the below header okay one thing here so these three layers are actually the headers okay so the first one is the above header the second one is actually the primary header and the third one is the below header so you are having these three different lines or the layers so you are actually having three different headers so if you wanted to add more information you can use these headers as well okay and we are having this option here the menu color so in the menu color you can see this we are having the text color and the background color so if i just click on this and i think i can change the hover color or we can also change the default color here as well so you can see this we can play around with this color values here as well so i'm going to clear this and we're going to go here with the default value so it was kind of white color sorry the black color and you can also change the hover color here as well so you also have this background color so you can see this we can also change the background color here if you wanted to and we can go here with kind of a reddish color or also this green color so we're going to go here with the white color all right and after this we are having this sub menu color and you can see we are having the social colors so you can actually play around with these options here in the mobile menu so this is how you can actually edit the mobile menu in the astro theme on the astro theme regardless of the design that you're using there so now we're going to go back and i'm going to simply click on ok here so now i'm going to tell you how can you go with any pre-made template here if you wanted to 
So for that, you're gonna go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here you can do one thing here, you can actually write down the starter templates here. So you have to install this and activate this. And after that, you have to go inside the starter templates here. And after that, you will be able to see a lot of the different templates here that you can import in your WordPress website really quickly. So it's gonna take less than one minute here. So you're gonna simply click on any of these templates here. And then you just have to click on continue then it will actually import that template into your wordpress website and then you don't have to do anything yeah obviously if you want to customize this you can do this other than that you don't have to do anything there okay so now let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and this is how we can edit our mobile menu in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel